my loves, it's, uh, this is a random one. The uh, You'll hear the washer in the background and the oven in the background. It's a real-time recipe vlog kind of sorta. Um, I'm trying the drying feature on our air fryer for the first time. So uh, I've chopped all these cherry tomatoes in half and I've put some very tiny ones on whole. So I'm going to put that in there and we're going to choose this function here and that will be 30 degrees for two hours and so it begins so we'll see how that turns out after the two hours this is just uh, I've cut a big marrow right down the middle scraped out all the seedy bit rubbed them with oil salt and pepper and they're going in a preheated oven now until they've got lovely roasted edges and that is going to become roasted courgette or marrow pesto mmm see you in a bit right my loves the continuation so I've roasted my courgette till it looks like this it's very 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 brown that's a good thing though, that's what we want, we want that, that's all flavour that. So I'm going to get this into the uh, food processor. There we go. All that into the food pro processor. This much garlic for us anyway quite a lot, quite a lot of garlic. Uh, we want the juice of a whole lemon. And mixed seeds. I picked these up in um, Aldi, on a recent Aldi shopping vlog. Uh, they're actually marked suitable for vegetarians, but it's 100% seeds, four different seeds. So, uh, these, how do we get into them? Yeah. Quite a good chunk of seeds, actually. They're going to be, they're going to uh, bring a lot of body. And then a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Now I might need more of that, luckily I've bought more, but let's have a see, shall we? Let's have a see if I will indeed need more. I'm going to add a bit of nooch to this. I'm just going to move you a bit closer. <clears throat> so I can open the cupboard. Bit of nooch. And by nooch, of course, I mean nutritional yeast, which has a cheesy, nutty kind of flavour. Vegan, don't you know? I mean, it's good because they're crunchy, but... Mm. 
just before we finish. Just have a final scrape down. courgettes pesto that'll be perfect in mashed potato come on come on perfect in mashed potato and beautiful with pasta I should imagine mm. gorgeous while we're here and we've got your attention. Let's make the pasta sauce that I've told you about that I freeze in portions for when we have spaghetti and so on and so forth. I'll grab all the ingredients, see you in a sec. Just to show you them first, they're all from the allotment and they're all going in the jug blender along with other bits. So I've gone through our trays of tomatoes, we did have two, we've now got this one left and any that were a tiny bit soft or you know, they've gone in there. Any bad bits cut off and they've gone in there and we want a really good squeeze of tomato puree for that intensity of flavour. Probably even a bit more than that so I shall open another. There, we want at least that much. We want a few pieces of garlic, again just a few this time in there. We want a bit of water, about that much. And then the pièce de résistance. This is why it's always handy to have a basil plant on your windowsill. A good handful of basil. And that's pretty much it. Now you can add whatever you want to it. I'm going to, probably going to add just a pinch of salt. Because that's um, preservative as much as anything else, you know. Pinch of salt. A little bit more tomato puree. That's it, done. So I'll freeze this into portions now. I'll show you what I do that in. So I just get these from um, the Amazon, recyclable, uh, microwavable, dishwasherable, blah, blah, blah. And um, I'll simply do these into, I should get four portions out of this and then when it actually comes round to making it into pasta sauce with spaghetti and meatballs or whatever you can always add more tomato, you can add more garlic, you can add more salt, more pepper whatever you want really but it's a fantastic way to preserve your tomatoes and make them last you know beyond just the summertime and we've had some great tomatoes we've had some great salads with lots of tomato um,
I've got the ones in the air fryer now. Uh, I did them for two hours, by the way, on the recommended 30 degrees, and they were still really, really wet. So I'm doing them again now. I've got them on 80, uh, and I'm checking them intermittently. So we'll come back when I'm shoving them in a jar with some olive oil. But there is the pasta sauce, and previously was the roasted courgette pesto. How marvellous. Whilst we go in the kitchen and finish off, Mr Bromley's having a right good old uh, Tony Hawk's. Aren't you? I am. It's great. <laughs> uh, right. Now then. This is all I got from the... You saw how many cherry tomatoes uh, I did. Uh, I did it for two hours at 30 degrees. They were still wet. So then I turned it up to 40 and started to do it for two hours again. Left it for an hour, felt them and thought, nope, they're still too wet. So then I resorted to Google and uh, people say, you know, don't use your drying feature. Let me proper close up. Your drying feature, um, just do them at 115. So I did and I've got them and they're covered in oil and I'll get them put in the fridge. Would I do that again? Uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe it, um, we were sent a cash gift specifically for uh, an, um, a dryer, you know, a, an air dryer, whatever they're called. You know what I mean, don't you? Uh, and that's still put aside to, because we want to try out the feature on here. But uh, it's been tough, but we have got some nice preserved cherry tomatoes in oil there now dried and um, kind of cooked really uh, and oh we're having burgers for tea and the evening I'm making this that's our onions from the allotment um, so I've got the uh, pesto there that's the um, that's the rest of the chickpeas I'll probably do a curry this week uh, but that's the um, roasted uh, courgette pesto there and there are the four new portions of pasta sauce them two are from last year I did about 12 last year uh, and I might just end up doing a whole load of these because they've served us really well so pasta sauce courgette pesto and kind of sorta kind of sorta sun dried tomatoes anyway Hope you found that interesting, useful, entertaining, whatever. Correction, and no light on my phone this time. That's not the courgette pesto. That's leftover Spanish chickpea and potato stew. That's the courgette pesto right there. You know, the one that looks like courgette pesto. Ah, oh, bad enoughs.